On a Friday, we will present the cultural agenda, where we allow stakeholders in the culture industry to speak on a related topic of importance to the nation. Our guest this evening is music producer and member of the Jamaica Association of Composers, Authors and Publishers, Gussie Clark. He will speak on the new EPX. What is it and how will it affect the music industry? Gussie, over to you, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the EPX is basically a new format that has not existed before. And it's an innovation. So basically what it is, Jamaica has given the world eight different genres of music. Kingston has been designated a city of music. I have innovated what's called a new music format. It's called an EPX. It's basically a marketing format. And it allows us to market artists differently. The EPX is performed by Kevin the Artist and is a groundbreaking project that introduces the global audience to the style and the vocal capability of Kevin the Artist. This project is also a response to the comments that you know, many fans and persons who love our music globally are saying that there has been no, a lot of you know, new artists are there, but no musical innovations. So what we have done is say, you know, let's look at, you know, what different, what can we do? Now, the project has 10 different multi-genre remixes of the original reggae version that has not existed before. Um, the includes performances on the track by Shaggy, Sky Juice, Pamal, Boom Boom the Dance Hall Selector. The EPX also includes collaborations with producers from all over the world, USA, Canada, Africa, Jamaica, and it includes four different music videos. For me, this EPX is personally a labor of love, and it's also a reflection of my return to music production. You know, we have been constantly working on this project for over two years. And I believe, you know, it is an innovation, you know, which is the way I have always approached things, is by doing things differently. And I think this is a unique song that can be interpreted and appreciated in so many different ways and so many different genres. I mean, the fact of an EPX, I cannot recall anyone creating a song or a music project with over 10 remixes, multi-genre, of the same song by the same artist released at the same time. This project is, you know, is a great marketing tool to introduce and expose Kevin the artist, his vocal ability, dexterity, writing skills, and introduce him across the world, you know? One of the things with this artist is that when a producer finds an artist who I deem is exceptionally talented, is manageable, marketable, and mannerable, it simply means that this art is, in, is investable in my side. Most artists take approximately about five to six years, you know, and our 10 or five singles to make an impact in the Jamaican music industry. The EPX innovation should fast track Kevin the artist because of the multi genre remixes and questionably show his, his ability to deliver his talent, you know, through different genres of music. It shows that he's not basically a one trick pony. EPX also introduces the artist to the world. It's not, and, and it's not so much about this song, you know. It is about Kevy's ability and his delivery, his skill, his versatility, and his marketing, and in creating a platform for, you know, a dynamic follow-up of his next single. His next single is like what you call a real feel-good song, you know. It's called I Will Follow You. So all of this is all a labor of love and an effort to do something different which has not yet been done for a very long time in our business. Because it sounds like in this project you, you brought together different themes that are happening to the music industry. One, you think there is innovation that is needed and or the innovation that takes place around our Jamaican music is not taking place enough in Jamaica and is being driven by forces outside of the country, that's one. Or two, uh, as you said, artistic versatility of the persons here in terms of vocal range, etc., and their creativity is not being showcased in the way that you think it ought, to, ought to happen. It's not really what I think. It's basically a response by me to what has been said by everyone. I mean, there are so much new great artists, but the music itself 
there's not a lot of innovation. And in, in many cases, the music has stepped backwards from its original, authentic Jamaican sound. And there's many reasons, that's another interview to explain why right. that is. Mm -hmm. So we choose, you know, something that's workable, that shows that good talent is here, great musician, great skills, and a great product can be made and introduced. I only hope that you know, media supports it in media Jamaica, but yeah. it's been, we get getting great response from all over the world, and we are very happy with where we are. Okay, great. Gussie, thanks for joining us on CVM Live. So we're talking to Gussie Clark, and he's, he's pushing and promoting and discussing a new music format. It's called an EPX, and it's about showcasing, well, in, innovation within the music itself, as opposed to just showcasing our artists. But right now, let's hear from Aaron Kelly with what's hot and trending in our social media space.